Imagine if all humans had one eye. Where would it be located? Would it be in the middle like the Cyclops? Or would it be located either on the left or on the right side of our faces? And our races be classified based on the location of our eyes? Whichever the case, the single eye would have to go through a series of transformations to be as effective as two eyes. Let us assume each of us had one big eye in the middle of our foreheads. The concept of a 3D image would be non-existent. We would view images as two-dimensional and not as three-dimensional due to poor depth perception. We are able to view 3D images because the brain interprets what we see from both eyes, each with a different angle and perspective and decodes it as a single image. With a single eye, there is limited visual angle and range, even if the eye is as big as a cyclops. The situation gets even worse when the eye is located on either side of the head, left or right. Since the focus would be on the side with the eye, there would be a blind spot on the side without an eye. With two eyes, we are able to get a clear view of both sides simultaneously because the muscles of both eyes are aligned perfectly to coordinate their movements. We can easily adjust our focus to one side, say left side, without affecting much what we see on the right side by slightly moving our heads. This is not possible with one eye. Let us assume you have one left eye. You tilt your head to the right to view what is on that side. What do you notice? Your vision is only limited to the point where your left eye can reach, that is, the right side only. The left side is completely blind. Now, assume you are carrying out activities that require a wider scope of vision, for instance, driving on the highway. How do you navigate past vehicles on parallel lanes without risking your life and others? You will have difficulty judging the distance of vehicles and keeping track of moving objects. With limited view, reversing the vehicle may be a challenge with a single eye. Hitting a curveball would also be impossible. In fact, no sport is possible with monocular vision, unless we are referring to long-distance shooting. This is probably the only sport that would be quite suited for us since rifles have one-eyed binoculars and the targets are at a good distance away. Thanks to depth perception, monocular vision is not much different from binocular vision when it comes to long distances. As for short distances, normal activities such as shaving beards and dealing with tiny objects would be really difficult. Also, there are some jobs that have two eyes as the first qualification, such as pilots. This may not be a problem, however, if all of us were to be one-eyed. If by any chance you were fortunate enough to have two eyes, you will probably be viewed as a person with a genetic deformity. Believe it or not, nobody will board a plane with a genetically deformed pilot. History has, however, proven to us that the body will always adapt to its environment. Challenges of having one eye are only prevalent because the body is designed to operate with two eyes. However, if our bodies were to be designed to operate with a single eye, then the eye would probably be so powerful that the issue of having two eyes would never cross our minds. One thing is for certain though, our lives would be much slower with monocular vision. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, and comment below.